welcome to NEDAP KBTV. In this video, we'll go through the steps of renewing the validity of an SSL certificate that's installed on a cluster data on DAP system. Let's first look at the status of the existing certificates. We'll do an SSL show. So there's this SSL certificate that's installed on this vServer. Note that the serial number column here is displayed only starting from versions of data on tap 8.2. So if you're running a version of on tap earlier than 8.2, you will not have the serial number listed in the output of SSL show. Uh, let's take a look at the validity period of this certificate. Security certificate show. So yes, so we have the certificate here valid till December 2015. So let's try to extend the validity of this one. So in, in order to uh, extend the validity, we'll have to create a new certificate. And for that, we'll have to delete the existing one first. So let's go ahead and delete the certificate. Security certificate delete type would be server provide the vserver name the serial number yes. once you delete the certificate the SSL services associated with that vserver would be disabled we'll now go ahead and create a new certificate so security certificate create common name would be let's set the expired date to the default value so by default the SSL certificates are set to expire after 365 days and we'll do a quick check to see if the certificate did get created so yes here we have and the validity now goes up to September 2016 so we have extended it up to a year um, note that even after creating the certificate, the SSL services would not be enabled. We will have to go in and enable it explicitly. So we'll do an SSL modify. Yes, and make sure the server enabled is changed to true. We provide the details of the certificate now. It's mandatory to provide the serial number if the uh, certificate authority is mentioned here. So let's go ahead and type as yes when prompted. And we now have the SSL services coming up and we have extended the validity of the certificate as well. We hope you find this video useful. Please log in to NetApp KBTV for more knowledge based videos. Thank you for watching.